Look at this. We just got a box in the mail. Live fish. I got this mystery box from Worldwide Corals. They contacted me and wanted to send me some corals. And they mentioned that they're big fans of me, so I asked them, you can just send me whatever you think would look really good in my aquarium. So I have no idea. But I did ask them, how much is this box worth? And they said $800. What? So let's open this box and see what $800 looks like in coral. It comes all in a cooler here. Got. We have like heat packs, there's so much. Okay. 11 coral frags. I just temperature acclimated all the corals. So the water in the aquarium should be the same water as the water in the bags that they're in. So next up, we're gonna acclimate these and add them to our aquarium. Just to note that the coral, since they've been traveling, are very, very pissed off right now. So they're gonna be all like really tiny. But once they acclimate into the tank, they'll open up and look really beautiful. Okay, this is the fun part now, deciding on where all the coral is gonna go. And along with lighting and flow, another thing that needs to be taken into consideration, a lot of the corals have long sweeping tentacles and they cannot be touching other corals of different species. I'm just using the super glue gel. But first, let's do a coral roll call. Number one, aquacultured Boogie Nights Blastomusa. This is one polyp and it goes for $49. Add some glue to the base. Blastos like low flow and low light, so I'm gonna stick them inside of the cave. Number two, we got a blue-tipped frog spawn. I can add this to my frog spawn garden that pretty much all is gone right now. This one goes for $59 in the store. Number three, blue-tipped green torch coral, but it looks pissed off. I can add this to my torch tree. I was like, why isn't this torch coral sticking? It was because I was gluing it to the snail's back. This one goes for $69 in the store. Next is the J Fox Fender Bender Cyphastria. This one goes for $89. Next is this Jingle Bell Cyphastria. This one looks very similar to the one that I used to have in my old tank. Cyphastrias are kind of like encrusting corals and they have like little polyps that stick out a little bit. This one goes for $49. Next is a purple tipped hammer coral. This one goes for $49 in the store. Number seven, the WWC Bejeweled Fabia. This goes for $69 in the store. Number eight is the WWC USC Fabia. This one goes for $149. Number nine is the Darth Maul Fabia. Fabia is like low flow and low light. This one goes for $89. Number 10, a yellow hammer coral. This one goes for $59. Finally, number 11, the golden frog spawn. This one goes for at least $70. Okay, we got all the coral placed. Now we just gotta wait for all the coral to acclimate and open up. <laughs> Look at all the birds. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to today's vlog. Thank you so much for all the support on the beanies. I have just restocked the black and the gray beanies as well as released two new colors. We've got neon pink and oasis blue. And you can get all this merchandise as well as the calendars at corgionfleek.com.
continuing on with the day as well as my New Year's resolution, I'm gonna go and hit some back to you guys at the gym. I was able to get a mostly productive workout even with my finger injury. So for those of you who are wondering what happened to my finger, a couple of days ago, I was cutting something frozen as hard as I could with a knife and it went through and it also cut my finger. I don't think I need stitches or anything because it is a pretty shallow cut, but it was just like tons of blood and super annoying. So just FYI, if you're wondering why I have a band-aid on my finger, now you know. I've been really craving traditional Japanese cup noodles. Oh. If you guys saw that animated movie Ponyo, I don't know why, it just popped into my mind. I was like, oh, so magical. I want some. It looks so delicious. I kind of really want to make some. Just add water. It smells so good. I could just eat this like this. <laughs> Now we wait three minutes. <gasps> what? Nice and runny egg. That hit the spot. <laughs> Oh, hey, Gatsby. What do you want? What do you want me to do? High five? Thank you. Do you like cookies? Here you go. Now I'm headed off to grab dinner with Sean. Hey Sean. You still have that on your finger? <laughs> yep. They get a uh, Cajun fries. We have mason jars. It's so hipster. I think I told you guys, I went on a hike in, with someone, like with this group of people in San Francisco, and one guy on the hike decided to not bring a thermos, he brought a mason jar, and he was just walking and carrying that and hiking, and I was like, these are the homemade chips and the sour cream dipping sauce. Cajun, like, spices. Where's our burger? I'm hungry, Sean. This is my burger. Finally came here with marmalade sauce and bacon on it. The crunch of the burger is so good. What did you get? Barbecue sauce and onion fries. It is good with the crunch. <laughs> okay, we just filmed with Nick. Nick's hey. here. Hey. Hey. And we tried these Oreos out, so you're gonna have to check out Sean's channel, Sean's Secrets, to see what we thought about these. I guess we're gonna open some mail right now. Hey, okay, we're gonna open some letters from October. This is how sad it is. We're so far behind. Noah Nguyen from Indiana. This is from Ephraim from Great Britain. It's a little, it's like a bandana. Oh. All right, let's open this package. Look what it is, Gatsby. It's a hamburger toy. Thanks, Alyssa. This is from Hadley from Buffalo, South Dakota. Ryan, I have been watching your vlogs for two years now and I really love them. Here's Bentley and here's Henry. Bentley is a little troublemaker and I named him after your roommate's dog, Bentley. I hope Gatsby enjoys his toy. Ooh! 
Look at that one. It's like Christmas part three today. Thank you so much, you guys, for all the letters. Anyway, we're getting really tired. Today was a really long day for us. The tank is looking so beautiful these days. I'm so, it makes me so happy, especially in the winter months when the sun goes down really early. Make sure to check out the new beanies if you want to get one. And the dad hats are back in stock, as well as the calendars. And we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Somebody's going to be turning four very soon. Good night. It is as good as it looks. Brioche is like slightly sweet since I cut it super thick. The consistency really